Hey everyone, it's Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. I'm back with another video for you today and I have Mr. Siaj here with me. How's it going everyone? Today we're going to talk to you about our favorite gym fragrances. So this is our top 20 gym fragrances coming right up. Thanks so much for tuning in. Mr. Siaj is here. He is a gym goer. He is also a trainer. Are you a trainer or a teacher? Yes, I'm a uh, personal trainer. I teach uh, a couple fitness classes and also a, uh, a boot camp class. Go figure, right? Oh. So, uh, yeah, that's that's something that after the military, I sort of started to go with that route into fitness. It's always been a passion. I should have that passion too, but I think I'm more passionate about perfumes more than going to the gym. <laughs> <laughs> I would say it's about... 90% fragrance and 10% gym for me. Maybe oh. a little different. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. If you're 10% gym, I'm 1% gym then. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, let me ask you, since you, you are working at a gym and you go to the gym and work out and things like that, what does it mean about wearing fragrances to, to a gym? Now, I've heard people say don't ever wear fragrances to the gym, things like that. But I always tend to wear fresh fragrances to the gym, ones that smell pleasant off of, uh, off of people or me. Does it, does it bother you if people wear fragrances to the gym? It probably doesn't, right? Not at all. I think, I think what it boils down to is a lot of people's trigger control more so. They're, you know, if you're wearing uh, perfumes and Molly's Layton with 20 sprays on at the gym, then yeah, maybe that might become a little bit overwhelming. But ultimately, when isn't there a situation in which you want to smell good? And that's the way I always see it. And I, I appreciate people that also take that kind of care and time into the way that they present themselves. So, you know, I, that's the way that I want to present myself as well. Absolutely. And there's nothing like, like going to the gym and you're working out next to somebody and all you smell is really bad body odor. <laughs> that trainer. is a major turnoff for me. <laughs> As a trainer, I definitely know what you're talking about. <laughs> well, good. I guess we agree on this. Yes. So my number 20 is a fragrance called CK2 by Calvin Klein. This came out a few years ago. It's an aquatic, fresh, ozonic fragrance. Um, it's, like I said, it's an aquatic, but it doesn't go screaming aquatic. And it's the type of fresh I like to wear to the gym. It's not overwhelming, it smells great. There's a little rose note in there that's light and airy and uh, watery. Uh, it actually works perfect at the gym and I enjoy it. It lasts uh, at least three to four hours, uh, maybe even pushing five to six. It's not a, like a heavy fragrance, it's not a long lasting fragrance, but it's one that I like to wear. So that's my number 20. And that's a great pick. And I definitely see CK2 being a great set. It's one that I used to rock all the time as well. I don't have it in my collection as well. But coming in at my number 20, I have Loam by Yves Saint Laurent. Now, this is one that you hear people talk about as a good business sense or a good casual sense. And as I mentioned before, with uh, proper trigger control, it can actually be a fairly decent gym scent as well. And I find that when I wear this to the gym, I feel nice, I feel clean, I feel refreshed. That, that ginger note a little bit underlying in Loam it gives me a little bit of a, sort of a zesty pick-me-up almost. And it, it's a great, great energy to have while I'm at the gym. So Absolutely. My, number 20, my number 20 is Loam by Ethan Laurent. Well, my number 19 is one that I've known about since 1997. I've worn it since 1997. I actually stopped wearing it because I felt it was getting watered down and being killed by L'Oreal, who is the parent company of Armani. But I recently started wearing it again because it is light and it is perfect for the gym. And I'm talking about Aqua de Joe by Armani. Um, what I like about this, it is another aquatic, and aquatics were very challenging for me for a long time, but now they're kind of slowly becoming easier for me to wear, and my, uh, my nose palette is uh, accepting aquatics, I guess. But just because this is light and a bit fruity, a bit melon-like, like, like um, 
cantaloupes and things like that. Um, fresh, it's perfect for the gym and I like it. It doesn't overwhelm, it's easy to uh, accept. Uh, people around you will like it, it's pleasant and sometimes even gets compliments. So Armani's Aqua de Joe at number 19. Coming in at my number 19 is from the house of English Laundry and it is Arrogant, also known as Signature. Now, you can find these fragrances for rather cheap at some of the discounters, um, 14 to $18 for a 3.4 ounce. Arrogant sort of is sort of like almost a Jean-Paul Gaultier kind of feel toned down a lot. So it's very appropriate for the gym. It's got the lavender, it's just a really clean, nice scent to wear. And you feel nice, it's another nice, fresh scent that invigorates me while I'm at the gym. So coming in at my number 19 is from the House of English Laundry, and that's Arrogance. So my number 18 is going to the House of Sisley, a brand that's hardly spoken about in the fragrance community. And this is their very first fragrance that they came out with in 1973, I believe. Created by Jean-Claude Elena, this is Eau de Campagne by Sisley. Um, it's kind of like your traditional eau de cologne, but with an added herbal green tomato leaf note that adds this greenness to the fragrance. Uh, so it's very green, fresh, uplifting, invigorating, very lightweight. It's an eau de toilette, but acts like an eau de cologne because it's pretty light and it's perfect when you're sweating at the gym. Um, again, it's very, very green. So just think of like 4711 with the added green leaf of the tomato leaf No, So it's wonderful. Please discover this. It's a great scent. It's a great house. They have great fragrances. It's Sisley and it's Eau de Campagne at number 18. Coming at my number 18 is Creed's Millicene Imperial. And you know, so, but, and I, I know you do the same thing. I, I have no problem wearing niche fragrances to the gym if they're appropriate for the gym. And this is one that's definitely that. With the kind of performance that it has and the kind of projection that it has with the melony and just salty and broxen in there, this is actually one that actually shines at the gym on me. And it's just such an uplifting kind of scent. And one that I personally love wearing at the gym is just the melon notes mixed with that classic Creed and Broxin mixes pretty well with, like you said, sort of that that heavy working out and just your body heat. This is just, it works spectacular. So coming in my number 18 is Creed's Millicene Imperial. So do you get any similarities of Millicene Imperial with Aqua de Joe? Both have a melon kind of a vibe. I don't think they are similar, but some people tell me they are. I would say like same same family, I guess. Like mm -hmm. definitely in that same that same grouping. I, I can definitely, definitely see that, that kind of that kind of grouping together. Yeah. All right. Well, my number seventeen is going to the house of Lalique. Missing my cap, so please forgive me. But this is Lalique White. This is an absolutely perfect scent to wear at the gym. It's soft. It's a bit spicy. It's fresh. It's aromatic. Uh, with a dominant tamarind note gives it kind of a tartness to it but it doesn't have like a screaming projection it's very close to the skin which makes it absolutely perfect for the gym it's very light it's pure uh, because it's white and it does come off very very white and um, it's perfect I think for the gym so check it out if you don't know it I highly recommend this one it's a sleeper one it's not La Ligue en Crenoir which everybody talks about but if you're looking for a great gym scent, this is the one, Lalique White. You can get it for you can get it for really cheap as well. All right, so coming in at my number seven is a fragrance that you wouldn't necessarily think about always when you think about wearing a gym scent, and it comes from the house of Paco Rabanne. Coming in at my number seven is Paco Rabanne's One Million Cologne. Think of the classic One Million but with a more aquatic, way lighter, way more wearable, and with a little hint of rose in the mix. This is actually, rose doesn't sound like a gym scent that you can wear, but this actually makes it work really, really well. I actually have two bottles of this one because I know that it's one that I'm gonna be using a lot. And when it comes to gym, the gym, especially it also being the place that I work, I'm going to need a scent that is going to be appropriate for just 
working or also when I'm training. So coming in at number seven is Paco Robbins, One Million Cologne. Don't know that one. I should check it out. But I kind of completely skipped One Million. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't blame you. This is one that's a little more uh, adult, I would say. It's, uh -huh. it's a little more subdued, a little more taken back. Definitely one you might want to check out, especially with the rose note in there. I know one of the things that you turned me on to is roses, and I, I never turn back. So Man, roses are awesome. Yes. Coming in at my number six is a house that's rarely spoken about in the fragrance community, but they have some great releases, both for men, women, and unisex. And this is strictly targeted to men. It's very classy, but it's very fresh and lemony citrus. This is Rocha Po Om, or just Rocha Om. Uh, inexpensive fragrance, you can pick up a bottle for around $50 for 100 ml, but it's, it's an excellent, excellent release. It's one that I love to wear because I love citruses at the gym because they're fresh, zingy, uplifting, fun, and they don't, you know, they don't like overwhelm when you, you, when you have it on. Like people will not be scared of you, they'll get closer to you rather than like run away from you. Yeah, they get compliments too. Compliments are always great at the gym. And I get more compliments at the gym because I overspray my freshies over there at the gym. So this is nice. Rosha Por Om, or just Rosha Om, at number six. Coming in at my number six is one that's known as the ocean water crashing against the rocks. Coming in at number six for me is Bulgari's Aqua Amara. This is a great, unique take on an aquatic fragrance. They didn't go the classic route. They sort of made it really salty with adding notes of seaweed in there. And for the gym, once again, working with your skin chemistry and sort of the saltiness of your sweat, this is just one that actually just shines on my skin. And as a designer fragrance, this is a totally unique scent. And for the price that this one can be had now, I, this is another one I have two bottles of because I know that I'm going to be burning through these bottles. So coming in at number six is Bulgari's Aqua Amara. Well, now that I'm kind of slowly getting into aquatics, I might have to revisit the Bulgari Aqua series because I was turned off. They were just a little too fishy for me. <laughs> so we'll see. <laughs> we shall see. All right. Coming in at number five for me is one that I started wearing to the gym uh, like almost when it first was launched. It was the anti beast mode fragrance the house was known for. Um, they launched a unisex fragrance in 2001 called Cologne. It's Mugler Cologne and it utilizes the neroli and the orange blossom. It's very soapy, it's very clean, and it is so great at the gym while you're working out and then after a shower at the gym it's like a refresher it's just like wakes you up wakes up your senses so both in and out of the gym perfect uh, fragrance um, this is like I said it was the anti beast mode amen that was their very first scent that they came out with for men and when they came out with this I was like already like burnt out with my nose and I got cologne and I was like wow this is so good and I'm from Mediterranean anyway, so I love the smell of orange blossoms and neroli, and this is a perfect uh, example of it. So, so Mugler Cologne at number five. And that's, I, and you know what's funny is the only reason why I don't pick that one at the gym is because I swear another one of the trainers actually wears that. <laughs> so <laughs> it's just that you can't smell like somebody else. So you gotta, yeah, you gotta change it up. Totally, I agree. <laughs> Coming in at my number five, coming in from the house of Versace, we got Versace's Man O Fresh. This is just one that's always stuck with me. I don't, I, it's, it's a unique, it's not so much of a unique take on an aquatic, but it's just, it's just such a solid scent to wear at the gym. This is actually, throughout my lifetime, this is actually my fourth bottle that I've had of this. For a while before I was into fragrances, I used to wear this as a signature scent all year round, mm. even during the winter time when it's not really winter appropriate. But now, knowing a little bit more, this one is just perfect for the gym for me. And you can sort of go a little heavy with this one and not really offend anybody. And it's one that I wear often and one that I really enjoy wearing. Coming at number five, Versace's 
mango fish. At number four, we're going to a French house that's re imagining their brand, rebranding, I guess, with new bottles, new look, and they actually rebranded their name. It used to be called Anique Goutal, now it's called Goutal Paris, because Anique Goutal has, no longer is living. She passed away. It's been a while, though. Uh, but this fragrance was launched in 2014. It is a fragrance they used to have in their catalog in the early 80s, and then they discontinued it and brought it back. And it's perfect for the gym. It's called Odemisio by Anique Goutal, or now it's called Goutal Paris. Um, this is kind of sort of like uh, Oda Adrian, but more, I guess, more herbal. There are herbal notes in there, like uh, uh, rosemary and sage and things like that. Um, but it also is very, very citrusy. So you gotta love citruses. They're tart. They're juicy. Uh, they're, you know, very, very uplifting kind of notes. It makes it perfect for the gym. You can wear it at the gym, then wear it throughout the day. It's very, also very classy and masculine, even though it's for men. I think women can pull this one off as well because it's all about the citruses. So Odemisio is at number four. Great deals to be had for this one as well. You can get it probably for about $40, $50 for 100 mil. All right, so coming in at my number four is actually a fragrance from the House of Provision. And if anybody follows me on Instagram, they see that I've been wearing this one a lot, a lot. And coming in at my number four is Mayadri by ProVision. This is actually, Sebastian, this is actually a fragrance that I won through Cephalon a while back. Oh, wow. Yes, <laughs> this is actually one that I won through Cephalon Congrats. a while back. And, and you know what? I, it, people that have seen my Instagram know that this is one, I'm actually gonna spray it on right now, this is one that I've been wearing a lot, a lot. And I, I looked into the perfumer after I got this fragrance um, and the perfumer is Sherry Sebastian, who, wrote, who writes that uh, notes from a perfumer. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's who actually is a perfumer of this line. And she's, uh, she's knowledgeable because this scent is so, so good. So good. And really? I'm going to probably be going getting another bottle of this because it's this bergamot. And I, I did a review on it. The bergamot in here is just so so good it's not only the bergamot juice it's like the zest of the bergamot you got this oak moss and vetiver it is just so well composed and that bergamot in this fragrance i absolutely love and i've been rocking it at the gym a lot lately <laughs> so and that's why it comes in at my list at number four provisions Beatri. i don't know if you guys have been noticing but i'm putting in cheapies here mostly cheapies or fragrances you can find for deals but this next one is also one that you can find for a deal and it's actually a classy masculine release that could be both unisex worn and dating back to the 60s 1964 i think it's au sauvage by dior not sauvage but au sauvage again we're going to the citruses herbal notes vetiver it has a little bit of a creamy vibe in there, but just a classic that you can never get tired of. Just spritz a bunch of this on and go to the gym and people will be like walking by and like giving you the eyes and things like that and saying, what are you wearing and things like that. So, but you know what? This is one you can wear at the gym again and also wear to the office if you, you know, take a gym break and then go back to the office to work. Uh, it's just a classy fragrance. I would never get tired of this one. It's a, it's a perfection to me. Uh, it beats the uh, the new Sauvage as well, but I don't know. Um, that's just me. I, lo I love citruses. So, Eau Sauvage at number three. Hey, you know what? Like, I know I, I'm, I'm late to Eau Sauvage. I don't currently own a bottle, but actually I was recently at, I forget, it was my Macy's or Nordstrom's, but I, I, had a, I wanted to take a sip of it again, and it's definitely one now that's hitting my must buy list so i'm definitely gonna be picking that one up soon so awesome <laughs> coming in at my number three is this this bottle is just the epitome of classic jim bro i don't know if you know who sinister siage is or see him on my channel but that's <laughs> that's this fragrance basically <laughs> coming in at number three is jean paul gutier's Superman edition. Hmm. The Superman edition, I, 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 I 
I had the Popeye and I, I, I had the smaller bottle of that and now I have the Superman one and they're the same fragrance but what you get is just like this minty light bubble gum. I mean this is another one that you can spray on so much and not really offend anybody. It's a real transparent nice scent. It has a decent sillage, but in the gym when your body's heating up, it tends to work pretty well. Mm. And with the transparency that it has, once again, it's not one that you're going to offend anybody with. So coming in at number three is Jean-Paul Gaultier's Fresh Superman Edition. My number two is a fragrance that's probably the most expensive on here, although the next one is, a, is also no deals for it. But it comes from the house of eccentric molecules from Germany or UK. Uh, the perfumer's gaze is shown from uh, Berlin. I think the house is from the UK. It's eccentric molecules and this is molecule four. And I specifically went with four and not one because I've been enjoying four a lot more lately. Uh, it's a Javanol, so it smells like creamy sandalwood, just beautiful. But when I first smelled it, I uh, smelled this one, I was anosmic, I couldn't smell it. But slowly my nose got trained and I can pick this scent up a lot now. And this one gets me so many compliments. It's amazing the way it smells. People tend to love it. They kind of want to get close to me and smell me. I think that's the kind of fragrance that I would wear to the gym. Even though this might be a little heavier than normal, but it's not heavy. It's got this lightness to it, airiness to it, that uh, it does project, but it doesn't project like normal. So uh, if you don't know the eccentric molecules fragrances, definitely try them out. And this is one of my favorites out of the four in the collection, with Molecule 1 being number 2 behind this one. So, Molecule 4 from Eccentric Molecules at number 2. And you know, I, I love the Eccentric Molecule line. It's one that actually I, I, it works really, really well on my skin. I get, I get a ton of compliments with uh, Eccentric the, 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 the Molecule line as well. I like sticking with the, the, the specific Molecule ones, the, the OneNote ones. Mm -hmm. I get really good performance out of those. Awesome. Coming in at my list, at number two comes from the house of Gallagher Fragrances, and this is Gallagher Fragrances Bergamos. Nice. Bergamos is just, I, I got this recently, and I've been wearing it a lot too. This is one that's just such a clean, nice take. The Bergamot is just Dancing in the background there, it's not too overtly in your face kind of bergamot. It's just a, it's just a nice complement to the scent all around. It has a white amber and broxen as well. I think a lot of the scents I have I actually have in broxen now that I'm thinking about it. And it's just a note that works really well for my skin when mm -hmm. I'm at the gym. So coming in at my list at number two is Gallagher Fragrances Bergamot. Cool. He's got a new one on the way, did you know that? Yes, I do. <laughs> it's got pineapple in the notes. <laughs> yes, yes it does. Well, my number one, da -da -da -da, is the one that gets me the most compliments at the gym and ladies chase me down and they say, Mr. Mr. What are you wearing? What are you wearing today? I'm like, oh, yeah, it's, it's Blue de Chanel. So, I've got my big bottle of Blue de Chanel EDP here. I didn't put the, the Parfum here and I didn't put the EDT because I don't love the EDT as much. But I like this because it has this coziness about it. It's creamy, but still a nice woody, slightly smoky, citrusy fragrance that's an all-around crowd pleaser and a compliment getter. Every time now I go to the gym, I have to put Blue de Chanel on because when I sweat, it smells so good. It smells really, really good. And it's become kind of my signature for the gym. I mean, I wear the other ones too, but I kind of fall back on this one the most. So it's Blue de Chanel EDP by Chanel at number one. <laughs> and uh, you, you don't see the smile on my face because you know that's the one that I wear too a lot. I think that's actually sort of what sort of got us talking about this because I, I think I messaged you one time like you said you wear Blue de Chanel in the gym. I was like, thank God somebody else does that. <laughs> we, we, we started talking about it. And it was just, it was, I'm, I'm really glad that you got to put it on your end of the list. Because coming, coming in at my number one is just one that, this is my third bottle going through. Uh, it is, like Sebastian said, it, it's a house that he mentioned before. And they, they can be found for deals, but not too great. But it's just one that I just 
can't stop wearing to the gym. Coming in my list at number one is Eccentric Molecules, Molecule O2. O2 and or O1? O2. O2. Oh, wow. So you're going for the Ambroxan. I'm going for That's why I was looking at my list and I was like, I have a lot of Ambroxan on my list. Wow. Nice. Yes. Yes. It's just uh, something about the, the Ambroxan note, like given that sort of with the salt, I guess with my sweat, it's just, it, this one is just so, so good. This, everyone says sandal, uh, the uh, molecule O1, a lot of people talk about that. But Molecule 2 is actually my, my favorite from the line. Hmm. It just works really well with my skin, and this sort of makes just just an extension of sexiness for me. And I don't know if that's appropriate for the gym. It's sexy. But it, it works on me, and it just it's just that good. It goes has decent projection, still the transparency, but the embroxin and the saltiness. This is what sexy skin smells like. <laughs> and that's why it comes in at my list at number one. Eccentric Molecules, Molecule O2. But can you believe it? Nobody ever talks about Molecule 3. I, I, I know, I don't know why. I don't know why no one talks about that one. I should, I love Vetiver too, and that one's all about Vetiver. Hmm. Yeah. Interesting. Well, that's awesome. You have a great list. Thank you, so do you. <laughs> okay. So do you. Well, guys, what do you think of the list? What do you think of my choices and uh, Mr. Siaj's choices? Uh, do you like any of these fragrances? Do you like his fragrances more than mine? Uh, let me know, because mine were a little less known. I think he has pretty popular fragrances. But uh, let us know. Put some comments down. Let's get a conversation started. Also, thank you so much for doing this video with me, Mr. Siaj. Sebastian, thank you so, so much. This is like an incredible honor for me for you to just have me on your channel and just talk to you in general you know it's you're someone that i look up in this community very much and to be featured on your channel especially during one of these top 20 lists where you know i'm going to listen to it in, in the gym it's just it's, it's it's an honor so thank you so much i really really appreciate being a part of this absolutely and thank you yeah and then one last thing i want to ask you what do you recommend I do to get more in shape? Hit cardio and drinking water. <laughs> drinking nothing but water. Wow. I have mine right here. <laughs> okay. Well, I've got mine here too. <laughs> All right. Well, good. I'll do that. I'll drink lots of water. <laughs> Thank you so much, Sebastian. Oh, one last thing. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to Mr. Siaj, please make sure you subscribe to his channel because he's got great content. And also, if you haven't subscribed to this channel as well, there's a subscribe button below. Uh, please click the link and uh, also click the bell icon. I will have a link to Mr. Siaj's um, channel as well in the info box, so do that. Otherwise, please like this video, please share it, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye.